Hi, this is Joachim for statisticsglobe.com and in this video I'll explain how to replace specific characters in a character string using the R programming language. In the video I'm going to show you two examples and both of these examples are based on the example character string that we can create with line two of the code. So after running this line of code, you will see that at the top right of our studio, a new data object appears, which is called X. And we can also have a look at this data object by running line three of the code. And then you can see at the bottom in the RStudio console that our character string is returned. And as you can see, our character string consists of a random sequence of different letters, whereby some of the letters are Y. So let's assume that we want to replace all of these Y's by a new character string. Then we can apply the gsub function, as you can see in line five of the code. So within the gsub function, we need to specify the character that we want to replace. Then we need to specify a new character pattern that we want to insert instead of the character that we want to replace. And then we need to specify the name of our data object. So in this case, we have called our data object X. So if you run line five of the code, you can see that at the bottom in the RStudio console, a new character string is returned. And as you can see, we have inserted the character pattern new at each position where before in our original character string, we had the letter Y. Now, as you have seen in this first example, we have replaced each occurrence of the letter Y in our character string by the character pattern new. However, it is also possible to replace only the first Y in our character string. And this is done by using the sub function instead of the G sub function, as you can see in line seven of the code. So the only difference of line seven compared to line five is that I'm using the sub function instead of the G sub function. So if you run line seven of the code, you will see that at the bottom in the RStudio console, another character string is returned. And this time we have replaced only the first appearance of the character letter Y. So far in this video, I have only shown you how to use the functions of the basic installation of the R programming language. However, the R programming language also provides add-on packages such as the string R package. And the string R package is a very powerful package when it comes to character string manipulation in R. And for that reason, I also want to show you two examples for the application of the string R package. And first we need to install and load the package as you can see in lines nine and 10 of the code. I have installed the package already, so I'm just going to load it with line 10 of the code. And after running this line of code, we can use the str replace all function, as you can see in line 12. And in this function, we again need to specify the name of our data object, the letter we want to replace, and the new character pattern. So if you run line 12 of the code, you will see that at the bottom in the RStudio console, exactly the same output is returned as before when we used the gsub function in line five of the code. Similar to line seven of the code, the string R package provides another function which is called str replace. And we can apply the str replace function as you can see in line 14 of the code. So if you run line 14 of the code, you will see that another character string is returned at the bottom in the RStudio console. And this character string is consisting of exactly the same characters as the output of the sub function. So as you have seen, the string R package can create exactly the same output as the G sub and sub functions. So which of the functions you want to use is a matter of taste. And now you know both alternatives that are provided by the R programming language. So in this video, I have shown you several examples on how to replace specific characters in a character string. However, in case you want to learn more on this topic, you could check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on the homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. And I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video. Furthermore, if you have liked the video, I would be very happy if you leave me some positive feedback in the comments and make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notifications in future when I'm releasing new videos to the channel. That's it for this video. Thanks a lot. See you next time.